42 house calls today. I'm sitting here talking with some of our crew about how you tell the difference between Omicron or a cold or the flu or whatever. And that's why we have Dr. Celeste Reese Willis. Right, to break it down for us because there are some similarities uh, in those two uh, situations. Dr. Celeste Reese Willis joining us now. How are you, Dr. Celeste? Good morning. Happy Monday. Doing great. How about you guys? We're doing well. So far, so good. Um, it's the time of year where people are having sniffles and coughs. So well, how do we differentiate symptoms between a cold and COVID? Well, a lot of the sim symptoms are very similar. The five most common symptoms that people are complaining of when they come in uh, with the variant that's circulating now, Omicron, night sweats, fatigue, muscle aches, scratchy throat, and a dry cough. If you're having any of these symptoms, actually, if you're sick at all, we encourage you to definitely get a test. Uh, some unique features uh, of things that you would not have with a cold but would see with COVID-19 include having loss of taste or smell, having high fever, having severe headaches. These three symptoms are not typically seen with your average cold. So when you see those, it's more than likely COVID-19. But again, if you're having the sniffles, oh, it's my allergies, any of that, we encourage you to get a test. This particular strain is extremely contagious. And so just very important to do more testing right now. Well, we have a question from a viewer who wanted to remain anonymous, but the question still gets on the air. How long do you have to wait to get the booster for COVID if you had breakthrough COVID with a vaccine? Uh, a lot of folks are having that question right now. If you had the vaccine maybe a little later than you uh, could have gotten it, you get COVID. Do you have to wait 90 days or is there a time frame? No. They used to have a guidance where they recommended that you wait 90 days. That is no longer the case. At this point, the CDC recommends that you can get that booster dose as soon as your isolation period is over with. That isolation period is depending upon whether or not you're having symptoms, things of that nature. Typically, that's 10 to 14 days. So most people will get that booster dose at about two to four weeks after having an active infection. You know, Dr. Celeste, um, while we compare COVID and the cold, flu and COVID, some of those symptoms are similar too, right? The high fever? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. The, body, the thing that's a little bit confusing for a lot of patients right now, and there are a lot of these symptoms that will overlap, having those body aches, high fever and headache, those are also the typical symptoms of having the flu. So the only way to differentiate flu from COVID is getting that test. Mm -hmm. Most labs now can do a respiratory swab that can check you for COVID and flu at the same time. So encourage you to get that test to differentiate between the two. One of my favorite things to remind from our segments here over the past year and some change now is that the same tips that Dr. Celeste gave you to get back on your diet last Monday mm -hmm. also apply to staying healthy. Hydration, good sleep, yes. eating well. Look at me. Yep. Can I come work yes. for you when they realize that I'm not good at TV? <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Jack. You're you. learning all the good pearls. Well, when they when they get tired of me here, I'm coming to work for Dr. Celeste Reese Willis, and she is very right. kind to spend every Monday morning with us. Dr. C, thank you very much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Monday. You too. Take care, dear. It is 6:50. We'll head back to Coleman for a final update on snow and road conditions. Yep. First weather and